Greetings African people. Today I'm going to do a few uploads and I'm going to talk until I feel better. This is the condition of my heart today. This is how I feel, you know. Throughout the years, my heart has been broken so many times. And because I'm a strong person, I rally back from all kinds of things. But the scars remain. When I speak, usually my forehead becomes so tense. And um, I realize that I'm a very intense person. And I've been from the time I was a child. My aunt used to always correct me and tell me not to knit my brows. I didn't understand what she meant. Now I do it so much, it's too late. I have lines in my forehead from me knitting my, my brow over the years. I've always been very intense, too much for my own good. But I love being black. I've always loved being black. Everything about my ethnicity, everything about my culture and my race has always been very, very important to me as far back as I can remember. I love being black but sometimes i am ashamed of how my family my black family behaves and sometimes i hurt because i realize that my black family is hurting in so many ways and they don't even know i listened to someone doing a post recently and he was referring to another person as black and ugly. And that broke my heart. Because I think 2016, you still have black people referring to each other as black and ugly. And some of us might not use that word. But we our actions demonstrate that we think that we are black and ugly. There's a girl on YouTube who happens to be married to this white man. And um, I think they live in Australia, I'm not sure. But she is as dark as Barry. And I think she's so beautiful. And I think that man married her because he saw that beauty. And yet you would have someone refer to her as black and ugly. Now, I think she has good self-esteem and I think she loves herself. She is so beautiful, this girl. Unpretentious and beautiful. And I've seen other dark-skinned people who I just look at, male and female, and think to myself, wow, that person is lovely. 2016, I still hear black people in my country, Jamaica, referring to each other as black and ugly. This is not about slavery. This is about the black person hating him or herself and wanting nothing to do with his or her own culture. So even black people who claim that they're, you know, all down for the black movement have said things or demonstrated action that shows you that they're ashamed of their ethnicity and their cultural upbringing. Someone bleaches his or her skin and it's obvious that they're bleaching like Michael Jackson and someone who is uh, using some kind of chemical. Uh, also, we look at Michael Jackson or anybody else who looks that way and criticize that person. And when you say, but you're doing something to your skin, they justify it and say, no, I'm not bleaching. I'm toning. What, why are you toning? You know, so I can look cooler. What is wrong with the way you look? You look fine. We're always ready to criticize the other person uh, and look at uh, what is wrong with these individuals and we all play a pivotal, pivotal role in destroying ourselves. Let's take a look at Jenner, Ruth Jenner, AKA Caitlin. That person is splashed across the cover of magazines and the word beautiful is used to describe uh, that person. And who am I to say this person is not beautiful? When I look at him, I'm not thinking beautiful. 
But if he says that he's beautiful, hey, that's good for you. So why should my black brothers and sisters say that they're not beautiful because society doesn't agree? I don't think it's because society doesn't agree that you're beautiful, that you accepted that. It's because you agree. You believe that you're not beautiful. Perhaps because your own mother uh, referred to the kid who is light skin as having high complexion or perhaps because you grew up in a culture or society where you notice people who were lighter skin were treated better. But there comes a time in a person's life, those are like psychic tortures and somehow you have got to find a way to release yourself from them as I try to do in my life. There are a lot of psychic tortures that I have and I know it's not easy, but I work and try to overcome them. These are wounds that we carry, some of it from our past because of uh, the enslavement of our people, but slavery is not responsible for everything that happens in our community in terms of our separation from our culture and ourselves. I love being black. And part of loving being a black person is to love all aspects of my culture, my ethnicity, my, my upbringing. If I'm going to say black is beautiful, I have to demonstrate that in every way. I can't say I am beautiful, I'm lovely, and then look at someone else who have the same features as me and say, I hate that person. Because it's hard to hate something that is beautiful or someone who is beautiful. So if we look at beauty as something that resonates from within and shows outside, the idea of beauty becomes transformed to a different thing. The definition of beauty becomes something else because that Caitlyn Jenner is seen as beautiful to other people. It is therefore not about what you see in front of you, but about what that represents. Be blessed, everybody. Think on these things.